buddies, buddies, buddy requests. <laughs> Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it is time for making mesos with Deboki, and it's going to be part two of my little series here. And if you guys don't know what I'm doing and you guys are joining me for the very first time, uh, you guys should go ahead and check out part one and see what the whole dealio is. Um, but just a really quick recap, I am on a journey in Windia on a new server starting from scratch and going to try to get myself 100 million mesos. Now, I do buy myself a shot in this episode and it costs 1800 NX and a lot of you guys are saying like you know since you you spent NX uh, you should try to make it back and make an additional NX to meso ratio so yes I will raise my goal my new goal will be 180 mil so that that 80 mil could pay for the shop that I spent an NX on and 100 mil will just be my current goal so just in case you guys can't get a shop or something like that or you guys have to buy a shop with mesos or something like that i don't know so here i am doing my job advancement finally got to level 30 being a hunter like a boss i love it my favorite class is an archer hunter bowmaster so yes i decided to go ahead and live back in my past um my journey or my goal at the moment was to get to 36 level 36 is a very very crucial level in maple story when you're trying to make mesos now why i say 36 is a very important level is because 36 you can do the glove attack scroll quest that is where you get of course the 60 percent glove attack scroll <laughs> obviously and you start the quest in nlc you can get there by kerning city going into the subway system to NLC and I will show you very soon how to get there you guys can watch me and uh, you just kill a couple monsters for John and you go ahead and get the wonderful glove attack scroll the glove attack scroll you sell for mesos obviously what else do you do with it you eat it no you sell it for mesos you don't use it just sell it um, and sell it for a little bit cheaper than you normally would sell a glove attack scroll now you want to go ahead and get a quick big chunk of meso now it's not like a big big chunk but I mean about 10 mil that's a pretty nice chunk to start you off on your journey to making some mesos <laughs> um, what I think is very very important after the glove attack scroll is to of course take advantage of the crafting system that is out and you'll see me doing some a lot of crafting um, later on in the video and I'll go ahead and explain what I feel like is the best crafting choice to do now, some of you guys are saying, like, well, I don't really possess the skills and knowledge to make mesos. And I think that is very false. And I'll tell you a very awesome story that I heard at work about why we all possess the knowledge and power to make mesos. Because mesos is a very big, controversial thing out there in Maple Story. It's, it's very hard to obtain, but it's very easy to obtain, it seems like. And it's like people have so much of it, but then people don't have so much of it. It's very confusing. Like, how do you get it? So. Merching, of course, is a very big thing. Right here is a very example of merching. You find an item that is mispriced. Obviously, this guy was not trying to sell it for 5.5 mil. Put it for a very wrong price, and there you go. Someone merged off me earlier when I was selling leaves, right? And I will never make that mistake again. <laughs> Doboki style, definitely. So, definitely get a calculator out next to you. Do some math. I mean, when you're spamming in the FM, you're going to have to meet in the middle somewhere and not get the price you want because bargaining is very hard so I mean couple mil off of leaves I very happy with that that was awesome but um so now it's time to go ahead and set up my shop <coughs> excuse me so I got a lot of weapons to sell and my glove attack scroll to sell you know I tend to put the price down of course just a little bit than the normal price would be just because I want to go ahead I, di I got this for free right it was a quest item so it's something that I can make anything I sell it for will be my true potential uh, money that I made um, so the next step of course is crafting and my suggestion is to get mining and uh, accessory crafting those are my two favorite crafting skills to learn when you're trying to make mesos. Now when I say this is because accessory crafting, yeah, maybe a lot of you guys do like to make mesos off of blacksmithing or alchemy, which, ooh, excuse me, I got a lot of burpees in me today. <laughs> but the reason why I say that um, accessory crafting is the best thing to learn when you're trying to make mesos at the start is because, well, 
everything that you make in accessories is pretty much universal and when I say universal I mean that everyone can wear it right so when you make earrings or when you make a belt when you get up you're trying to shoot for the potential item when you're crafting an accessory item so that you're trying to get you're trying to look for percent stats right that's the whole like in demand thing at the moment when you're doing an accessory craft you have so much bigger of a chance to get a percent stat for any other class that that can work for anyone when you do it for like blacksmithing and you craft a bowman shoe then you get like you're trying to shoot for a certain percent item like i need percent dex or this item will be garbage who will want percent strength on a bowman shoe right it's like percent luck on bowman shoe you get like six percent luck on an archer shoe and it's like horrible but if you get like six percent luck on an earring or a, sh a belt anyone can get it so that means that anyone can wear it so you don't you're not shooting for a certain class and you can sell it very easily you just gotta shoot for that one percent stat so i really like that here i want to try to make sure that i don't go under 10 mil um, i buy six or about 132 bronze ores and i'll make about 44 plates when i say about 44 plates some of them will turn into brown powders but you can sell them for the same price and i think i believe i sell them for about 89k each so i make more than double of what i spent on the bronze now it's not a very good method to make mesos but it's definitely a starter it will definitely get you those extra couple mil that you need to boost you up and just a constant steady flow of an income so if you guys are stuck and you guys definitely need to make some mesos definitely go ahead and craft uh, some ores and test the waters a little bit don't go all in with all of your mesos like i'm gonna craft a thousand bronze ores and try to sell them do a little bit at a time but don't do so little but like make a big enough chunk to make a difference in your mesos um here i found 300 of course silver plates lying on the ground i'll take it you know, the <laughs> Maple Story sent it to me. I'll take it. 300 plates for lying on the ground. Definitely will take advantage of that so I can craft myself some wonderful belts you'll see in the later on in the video. Um, right now I'm crafting some opal because this is a very cheap material and I can get some uh, low level earrings which I will go ahead and hopefully shoot some for some good potential. That's what you want to do is start with the smaller earrings that just require a um, little bit of material and you can go ahead and get some potential. Now, the thing is, of course, right here, uh, I ran out of magnifying glasses, Deboki style. <laughs> and do I edit it out? No, I just keep it going. <laughs> but the thing is, when you're shooting for potential earrings, you know, usually people like to fuse them and stuff like that. Just sell the ones that don't have potential for lower ones. It takes too much time to try to fuse them and make mules and everything at the moment. Just sell the ones that don't have potential. Uh, I mean, when I say sell, I mean NPC them. And if they have potential, you take it. So right there I got 2% strength, awesome. And right here, 6 strength, you know, it all works out. And here I get an epic 4% strength, look at that. So that can make a very nice chunk of mesos right there. So that can all sell for a wonderful, nice amount of mesos. So I decided to go ahead and craft into some, or use my silver plates up to make some belts and uh, just see what works for you and I got really lucky my first potential reveal to an epic three line four percent strength belt so I mean even even if you don't get like an epic four percent strength belt or something like that um, even if it has like a little bit of potential on it you'll definitely make back your mesos I tend to not NPC the belts or any of the things that have potential on it at the moment because I feel like you can sell them for about 100k in the stores um, instead of NPCing them for about like 400 mesos so you can definitely make back your profit um, but yeah so guys take advantage of this crafting it's here for us right now and it's it works so I mean it definitely gives you back your mesos sorry if I'm giving you or if I'm talking a lot guys I feel like I'm talking so much right now you guys are probably like Dewoki can you just shut up for maybe like 200 minutes <laughs> alright so now I want to go ahead and tell you guys a story um, and a little motivational about making mesos so this you know this is can go with real life also uh, you guys, if you guys know about my videos, I tend to love to talk about real life things and I guess issues and stuff like that. But if you guys are afraid that you don't have the knowledge or the skills to make mesos, uh, do not fear because every single one of us do have, of course, the potential to make mesos. Um, so, true story this monk was 
uh, told the story, and it was true. <laughs> um, someone received a watch as a gift, right? And he he didn't know what a watch was at all. It was a very beautiful, flashy item. He just thought that it was something that was could go well with him walking around, you know, and it just looked really nice on his wrist. Um, he was constantly late to work. He was constantly late to everything. He he got fired from jobs over and over again. Um, he just he couldn't be on be home on time and everything like that. And he just didn't know how to be successful in life. And he was just like, "Why am I failing so bad? I just cannot keep track of time." And he one day he was like all right you know what i need to ask what time it is and he stops man he says sir what time is it and he looks at him funny he's like you should know what time it is that's a watch right there and he's like what is a watch and he says a watch tells you what time it is and he says really i never knew that i never knew that i possessed such a great power and he looked at his wrist and he figured out that there was numbers on this this flashy apparatus and he was like oh i can tell the time and and then after that after he knew that he could tell the time he could obviously be successful in life and he can be on time and that just by telling the time he increased like his performance in life i guess you guys are like obviously you know duh devoki that's such an obvious story but you guys think about it this guy had the power and he had already the knowledge the whole time of telling the time he just didn't know that he possessed it so guys like you guys we all possess the power and knowledge of making mesas we just don't know it yet we just don't we just need to expose it like we need to release the innerness of ourselves to make the mesos <laughs> you guys are probably like wow this is really lame he is trying to go way too in depth with making mesos but guys it's kind of true you know just trying to help you guys out hopefully give you guys some motivation to make this hard mesos that makes this game very enjoyable so yeah 60 mil um about third way there you know, hopefully get there soon. S got my store set up at the moment, still trying to set up, get some more mesos for us. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, me, I should say. <laughs> this has been Deboki, and we will be seeing you guys later.